come on down to Dick's Drugstore for a new, uh, kind of shield and Viagra. It all will serve you at least once. It's a Dick promise. Yeah, I'm not even sure where I'm going anymore with these. Still fun to make. Anyways, it's time for some optionals and frankly, there are only two parts. Uh, this and the other one. And here I was thinking that utilities were boring. But this? Eh, this on the other hand is just too easy to separate. Ah, uh, hey, there you go. Oh, but before that, this video is brought to you by my merch store. Want a cool looking t-shirt? A sticker or even a mug? Well, check out my merch store. Link for that down below. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. I guess I should educate the unwashed masses out of this futuristic Neanderthal Kai sage. So listen up and let's delve into something pretty useless. The don't bother tier of optional module engineering. Mind you that most of these modules have the quote-unquote miscellaneous engineering slapped on them because developers could not be bothered to think of new and interesting upgrades to give them. So from me to you and from you to developers, let's all collectively say fuck you you lazy hacks! But on serious note, let's see what we got. And as always, let's start with the upgrades before experimentals. Okay, so miscellaneous upgrades are the templated and canned upgrades that they basically put on something that they didn't really want to put in effort, and thus we get the trio of the tired old lightweight reinforced and shielded upgrade bases. Of course, yes, you can use them for something, but frankly, if developers don't care, why should we? So don't waste your materials on this stuff and just put it where it counts more. Then we have long range interdictor upgrade. Now, this is very akin to the long-range scanner upgrades, but in this case it's a <laughs> less useful. You see, the way Super Cruise works is that it will always allow you to catch up to someone. Okay, fine, with the minimal chance of failing. Still, the fact is that positioning yourself is way harder and thus more important than getting a little bit of extra range. So, getting the widest interdiction angle is way more important and thus don't bother with long range. Oh, and just like the lovely Interdictor, shield cells also have only two upgrades and one of them just wastes your time and materials. In this case, the specialized upgrade. So you get more shield charge, but in a proper fight where this shield cell will actually matter, you'll be shit out of luck once feedbacks come online, as in feedback cascade railguns. And thus this particular upgrade will be comparably worse. Trust me, this is a bad choice and only useful in those few little easy fights. <sighs> okay, next up we have then the shield base upgrades. Here we have two that are very clearly idiotic. Well, at least one of them seems very idiotic and the other one, well, maybe not so much at first. Now, obviously shields by default have innate high resistance to kinetic and blast damage types. So, pray tell, what would be the most brain dead federal approach to this? Hmm. Ah, yes, getting kinetic resist base upgrade for shields, of course, so that you can tell the whole world, hey, I don't just hate bullets that I'm already impervious to, but I'm such chicken shit that I need even more protection against bullets. As for the other upgrade, the low power one, uh, was it low, low, low enhanced, the low power one, whatever. I mean, what is there to be said? You don't need more power, you need less of it. So presumably you'd be using it on a ship with power issues, in which case you don't know how to build out a ship and thus you have to sacrifice that one thing that makes you, you know, breathing and farting through space. Truly, don't bother. And the last batch of upgrades we got for hull reinforcement packages. If shields were good against kinetic and blast, then the opposite is true for hull. So tell me, what in the Satan's prolapse disease the anus drippings possessed you to use thermal upgrade? Really, I hope you realize that's idiotic so we can move on. As for the blast and kinetic bases, uh, they're about the same in the sense of getting resistances up for their individual types, which kinda is appealing, I guess. But the simple fact here is that there's one other upgrade that simply dwarfed these in comparison, so I'll just say... Eh, don't bother? And as for the lightweight. Okay, so has anyone in the history of man said, Yes, I'd like my dick to be sort of hard. You know, like a little bit hard, not too much. It's just like a little bit of impotent. <laughs> and that's all I got to say on that matter. 
And so onwards to the experimentals, and starting off with the boss cell. And despite the name, its slower spin up time means that you get more chances to get uh, feedback cascaded. Uh, so, yeah, I think not. After that, on the list, we have every shield experimental, save for two of them, which are the chosen ones. So, double brace is pointless, force block is retarded, low draw is a crutch for idiots, multi weave is inferior to a proper base, and strip down makes no sense. So, finally, the three experimentals from Hull reinforcements, angle plating, layer plating, and retractive plating. All are minor increments in their respective resistance types, while sacrificing total hollow mount. But wait, the stupid has not left the house! So let's take a look at its peer, a facsimile of this type of upgrade, the force block for example for shields. The benefit you get is slightly smaller than the overall shield strength loss. This makes sense, you gain a bit more resistance in that one type, which almost covers all losses across all three types, but not quite. Now let's take a look then on hull equivalent experimental. This one not only loses hull on mount, but this experimental doesn't even recover that one specific resistance above its own loss. How fucking stupid is that? And here we have another proof the developers just don't give a fuck about balancing. And on that wonderful note, I hope I explained at least some of this clusterfuck of a mess they call Ah, damn it, our designers on net again. Hey, artists, design our system for us. But that aside, do share your takes down below and let's see, maybe you can convince me that the stupid still hasn't left the house. <laughs> uh, but other than that, do go check out the videos and the series and share the video and what not else. You know, you know what to do, right? And subscribe and all that. I guess it's time to disinfect the house. It's, it's full of stupid. Tarum pum pum pum! I'm burning alive! Oh boy. Alright, so let's see if I can actually make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, damn it! Oh, it's bad!